So the first thing you want to do for RC is you want to go to gamesearch.net if you are in um, America, um, I think even Canada, anywhere in North America, I think even South America, they might use gamesearch. In uh, Europe they use uh, QuakeNet, uh, I'm not sure about Asia and other countries, but um, yeah, for North America you want to go to gamesearch.net, um, you want to make an account, and then you can just check out the different um, just different stuff they have, the fact and whatnot, read about it, I'm not going to go over everything because it's going to make too long, but if you have any questions after the video, feel free to uh, come into my channel at uh, just pound, pound sign, Maximilian Coley. And to join a channel, you would put slash J and then the channel name. Um, J is an alias that's, I think, set up by default, um, which stands for join. And then to leave, it's part. Um, so, just make an account here. Um, I think they send the information and the instructions to your email address. Um, and then, um, yeah, you probably want a new user guide. Right there, probably has, um, you know, all the basics, the basic information that you're going to need here. Um, they tell you how to come to your perform, and it will perform on connect. They show you how to put in the auth serve command, so it automatically auths to your, to your account here. Um, that's your account name, that's your password, uh, which they send you in your email. Um, you enable perform and connect, um, and then all this other th stuff you can, you can go over and read. Um, there's one more command that you want to enter below this, so after you, press, after you enter that, just hit enter, and below that you want to put, you want to put this command here, double slash mode, and then me x. Um, what that does, it'll hide your IP address, so it'll make it harder for people to, uh, well, they can't get your IP. Um, like, uh, um, certain people can, but there are people with, um, who have been uh, given uh, extra access on, uh, on game search, so they shouldn't be doing anything uh, illegal. Uh, yeah. So that's something you want to do to hide your IP to regular users. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is come over to servers up here, and you're going to want to find one that is close to you. I'll show you how to put it in there. Just come to RC, you hit File, Select Server. Uh, comes to your server list right here. I already have you know these entered in, but I will give my um, mrc.ini file, which has all the different settings that you really need. Well, I'll upload this one so you can have just the, you don't really have to customize anything yourself if you're a new user. Um, but you're still going to want to find the server closest to you, and you're going to want to click Add. I'll just do it for you, so you can see. Paste that in here. Um, I'm using the Illinois one for an example, so I would put Illinois, and then the ports. Uh, 667, you can just copy all of those. And then you would paste it here, and group. Um, it would be under game search. And then, you know, none of these are password. They're all publicly available, so you don't need a password. Then you just click add, but I don't want to add it. And then I would just come over here, and then you would click select. And then up by connect here, it would read right here, server game search LA. Um, and then you click OK. And then you would click connect. Um, and then it'll connect to it. Um, and then some of the basic channels uh, are right here. Calscrim. Um, Cal was a popular uh, league, but people still use Calscrim um, just because there isn't really another free league yet that has everything set up like Cal did. Um, the other leagues right now, the main ones are um, ESEA and SIVO, but like if I join SIVOScrim here, there's no one in here. So Calscrim, if I go there, there's a ton of people in here. Um, and then there's rules. Uh, you want to pay attention to those or you're going to get banned. Um, but then, yeah, so there's Calstrim, there's, um, I don't even know why I have that there, but um, I don't use it ever. Um, find Clan if you're going to want to find a team. I think there's also a newer one, Find find uh, Tryout, so you can try that one too, um, if you're trying to find a team or something. Uh, but if you're starting out though, you probably want to just stick to Find Ringer and look for um, probably just Cal Open. That's, or you could say, um, yeah, actually, even though, you know, the Cal League is dead, I would recommend just the post for Cal Open because, um, yeah, anyone, anyone else in any other league uh, divisions is going to be above your level. So you just want to start off, um, start off slow playing with people um, that, I mean, automatically they're probably going to be a little bit above your level. But yeah, so you join Fine Ringer, just like, you know, you see here, post, double click on their name, pops up, message them. Um, to add a favorite, you would go to either, um, either you just join the channel with the slash join command, find ringer, hit enter, and then you come favorites, add to favorites. Uh, you can click join on connect or not, um, but either way, I'll add it right here. If you want to make a folder, you can click um, add, then you type in the folder name here. Click uh, You type the channel here if there's a password or a key. Uh, you would type it here. You can create a description, whatever, um, network, whatever network you want under. Uh, and then click add, okay. Uh, and then you have them all here. Uh, the other main ones would be find scrim. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, CalScrim and FindScrim are the two you would need for basic scrimming. Uh, find Ringer, just find Ringer, and then find Clan or find Tryout for tryouts. 
Uh, those are the basic channels, pretty much. A um, couple other things I would recommend is when you do scrim with um, teams or people, um, you can ask them their channel, your team as well as the other team, and then you can go ahead and idle their channel. And that helps because you don't scrim with random people and ring for random people all the time anymore. You can get to know the different people who idle their channel, uh, get to know the different teams, uh, ringers, whatever. And um, you can use this command called slash a message, and you can do something like this, ringer, west, east, whatever. Um, and that'll send a message to every channel you're in. And that's a that's a nice way of uh, being able to scrim with some people that you've already known and uh, played with before. Uh, so you don't have to scrim with completely random people every time. It also makes it easier to network and find teams and stuff like that. Yeah, everything else I'm going to have in my config that I'll send you. I think that's it, but if you do have any more questions, again, feel free to join my channel and ask me anything. I'm there all the time. One other thing I'll say before I end the video is a good program to get is Complexity Demo Player. Um, Open it up right here so that you can view demos. Um, viewing demos is a very important thing if you want to get better at Counter-Strike. You're not going to be able to get better on your own um, very easily. It's going to take a long time and you're not going to be able to be a top player without watching demos, period. You have to watch demos to be a great player. Um, so Complexity Demo Player um, is something you want to download. Um, I'll provide the link. Um, it's just a handy tool for um, watching demos. Uh, like it has all these default, you know, options that you don't have to figure out and set yourself. Um, and then it, there are a couple sites I'll provide them um, for finding demos and downloading them. And but you probably want to stick to um, the top players and teams in the world. If you don't know um, who they are, just uh, try to download demos that are, I guess, um, have a lot of previous downloads. Uh, those are usually the ones with the best teams, um, but not all the time. But anyways. Yeah, because the, the reason why I say stick to the best um, demos of the best players and teams is because even semi-pro and pro players who aren't in the top, you know, top-notch players, they all make mistakes. And some of the mistakes they make, they aren't even based off of their personal, um, you know, maybe they didn't even do something bad themselves, but just uh, kind of like a teamwork problem that, that screwed them over. So it's just kind of easier to get, um, like, a, like, you see, like, better perfection if you're going to watch, uh, you know, the top, top. I mean, even top, top teams and players, they make mistakes, but it's it's, it's usually not very often if you uh, if you stick to the very best. Um, but I think that's it for this video. Uh, I am going to be making other videos with more um, detailed, like, in-game stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, if you do have any questions in the meantime, or at any point, just feel free to ask me. Uh, you can message me on my channel, or just make a general message in the channel, and I'll answer you. Um, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video. I hope you find it useful. And good luck in competitive Counter-Strike. Thanks. Bye.